Contestant number five, Bill Sullivan, Demaic. Demaic, Bill Sullivan. Thank you. Madam Contest Master, Mr. Toastmasters International President, and fellow guests, how many people in the room have heard of Six Sigma? <laughs> Six Sigma is a scientific approach to process improvement. It is built on the DMAIC methodology, define, measure, analyze, improve, and control, with the main goal of making systems more effective and efficient eliminating waste, creating flow, and adding value to any system. It is stated by the Six Sigma experts that every system has 30% of waste built into it. Stated slightly different, differently, everything you do at work is 30% waste. Now some of you are probably saying it's probably more like 50%. Just think about all the unnecessary emails that you read and delete. Now multiply that e by everyone in your workforce. Let's try to put a dollar figure on it, something that's going to hit you in your pocketbook. Next time you go pay your property taxes, take two checks. Make one check out for 70% of the, to the total and hand it over to the tax collector and say, this check is for all the hard work that goes on around town. Take that second check and make it out for 30% of the total Hand that over to the tax collector and say, this check goes to support all the non-value-added activity. <laughs> Isn't there something else you'd rather be doing with that check? Now, you can apply Six Sigma to your home life as well. I went home the other night, and there was my wife sitting on the couch, completely exhausted, piles of clothes in different stages all around her. I came in, and I said, honey, what's the matter? And she said, I'm overwhelmed. I'm exhausted. The laundry's just not getting done. And I knew at that moment that my Six Sigma work world is collided with my home life and I can get my wife out of laundry jail. Now the first step of DMAIC is to find the process. Now that's simple. Happy wife, happy life. But I knew that if I could eliminate all this unnecessary work, it'll make her life that much easier. Well, the first step is what the Japanese term called Gemba. Does anyone know what Gemba means? It means go to where the process is being done. In Japan, they used to have Gemba reporters who would actually go to the crime scene and report from the crime scene. Toyota manufacturing managers would actually go to the plant floor and watch the work being done to find minuscule opportunities for improvement. Well, I knew that if I shrunk myself down to the size of this little army guy and got in the hamper, that I'd be able to see the process. So I made my way up to my son Sean's room and bunkered down. Yeah, Sarge, I'm in position. All right, soldier, what do you see? Oh, I see piles and piles of clothes all over the room. All right, get down. Don't let anyone see you. Wait a second. Here comes my son, Sean. Wait, he's in the room. He's just flicking his clothes all over the place. Sarge, it looks like there's a pile of in the corner with some toxic steam coming off. Abort, abort, get out of there. Those clothes haven't been washed in months. So I knew I needed to make my way to my daughter Mary Kate's room. I heard my wife shouting from downstairs, Mary Kate, get up to your room. Clean your, clean your room up and put those clothes away. I left for you on your dresser. Mary Kate came in the room. She's getting so big. I'm so proud of her. Oh, look at her. She's putting stuff away. Wait a second. What is she doing with those clothes? She's coming towards me. She's taking the folded clothes and she's throwing them back into the hamper. What is this? My daughter thinks the hamper is a roller coaster ride that just closes, just keep going on and on and on. No wonder nothing gets done around this house. Well, the next two steps of DMAIC are measure and analyze. Those are the, most, the two most important steps. A lot of people jump right to improvement, but you have to collect the data. You have to become the process. So I went further downstream into the laundry, into the washer, into the dryer, and I knew that there would be a lot of information and data collection analysis I could do in here. And what I found was astounding. Sock bombs, sock snails, one after another, socks that were coming out of the laundry. How does this get clean? This sock went all the way through the dryer. There's actually a sock in here that's hibernating, never gets clean. I found shirts. Every single shirt that I came across was inside out. What's going on? Then I found this, 
the sock, a completely inside-out sock that went through the washer and the dryer. Do you guys want me to stick my hand in here and see what's in here? Uh, oh, no. Oh, man, blue mulch from the Playscape. What do they do at my son's school? Let them play in the Playscape with their shoes off? This is crazy. Oh, no. What is this? Python pretzel pants. This is unbelievable. My daughter must do cartwheels to take her pants off. <laughs> Folks, we're all dressed up here. We all look sharp. We're professionals. Do I go home and take my jacket off and just throw it on the ground like that? <laughs> no, of course not. And that's not the worst of it. Python pretzel pants with Lego superhero underwear wedged in between. Am I the only one that sees this? My kids, my kids can't be the only ones that do this. I think my son has a trampoline in his room. He just keeps doing backflips until his pants come off. No wonder the laundry never gets done. My, my wife needs a crowbar to, to fold these clothes. Folks, once you've collected all the data, once you've collected all the data and continue with, through the process, the next step is to improve. And Six Sigma has a tenet. It's not about blaming. Okay? It's about education, continuous education. In our entire lives, we've taught our kids about the shoe. It's all about the shoe. Where's your shoe? Go find your shoe. Put your shoes on. Let me see if you can tie your shoe. We never teach kids how to take their socks off. There's no YouTube video on taking your socks off. What an awesome opportunity for improvement. If kids would just take the time to take their shoes off properly, then we would save a ton of time and my wife would be happy. Folks, my message is simple today. Don't make the laundry basket become laundry jail. You know what I'm talking about. Clothes go in, they never come out. Pretty soon you're going in there wearing clothes, and the next day you don't know if the clothes are dirty or clean, and you're sending them back through the laundry. Folks, we are Toastmasters, we are leaders. We are communicators, and now with this six sigma, six sigma knowledge, we have the ability to fix any process. My wife stood up, met me in the kitchen, and she said, Honey, I think this Demaic methodology is going to work. But I was hoping that tonight you would have come home and just make dinner for me and the kids. <laughs> Madam Costas, Master. <laughs>